Hi guys, so welcome to the next tutorial of this series and in this tutorial we are going to talk about Python variables. I think most of us are familiar or sort of have a have a rough idea of what a variable is. Uh, maybe not necessarily in a programming context but in a general context. So a variable is something that can actually change. Now in Python we constantly do alterations to our data. So we just attribute all those sequential changes into one location which we call as a variable. So for example, let's say we have a variable named uh, running distance. So imagine every day after your running exercise, you decide to take notes on how much you ran and you store it in a variable called running distance. So the first day you ran, let's say four kilometers. So in Python, we can just say something like running distance is equal to four. As you can see over here, we now created a variable called running distance and we assigned a value of four to that particular variable. Now, if you say print running distance, it will display four because now it's stored in the memory and the value of four has been assigned to that particular running distance variable. Now, let's say on the second day you ran five kilometers. Now remember, we are trying to find out how much of a distance we managed to run by the end of the month by keeping records every particular day. So now if I want to update the running distance variable to the latest figure, it should be 4 plus 5, right? Because on the first day I ran 4 kilometers and on the second day I ran 5 kilometers. So right now the latest updated variable should be 4 plus 5, which is 9 kilometers. We can directly make this change to running distance because running distance in here is a variable. So what I can do is I can simply say my new running distance is equal to 4 plus 5. And now if I say print and running distance, you will see that the new value is 9. Now this is the same variable which did hold a value of 4 just a couple of seconds ago but now the value of the variable has been changed to 9. So this ability of running distance to change its value every time when we assign a new value to it is what makes it a Python variable. So similarly, you can assign almost any name for a variable except for few minor fractions of names which I will discuss in a second. So let's say now we want to store name of cities into a variable called cities. I can simply say cities equals to Let's say my city is Brussels. Now if I say print cities, as you can expect, it's going to print Brussels, isn't it? And now if I just go ahead and say cities equals to Frankfurt. And now if I print cities, it'll give you Frankfurt because it took the existing string and replaced it with a newly assigned string. So the current value of the cities variable is actually Frankfurt instead of Brussels. Now, just a moment ago, I mentioned that you can assign a very descriptive name, almost any name to a variable, isn't it? With a few minor exceptions. So here comes those exceptions. Now in Python, when giving a variable its name, there are a few rules which you might have to be aware of so that uh, the name that you assign to a certain variable will not be flagged as an illegal name in Python. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list down a few points that you might want to take into account. All right, so the first point is your variable name can start with a letter or even an underscore. Now, for example, you can see that so far I assigned the variables into things like running distance or cities. Now, let's say if I were to start something with an underscore, let's say towns equals, let's just assign a random name, something like ABC. And now if I say print, underscore towns you can see that it's printing abc because now the value which has been assigned to underscore towns variable is abc and it's completely legal to do that in python doesn't really matter that you have an underscore in front all right so the second condition which i would like to discuss with you guys is that the variable name can be a mixture of both letters and numbers given that the variable does not start with a number at the front now again let's say if i try to start something like five towns equals ABC, it's giving me an, a syntax error because we cannot have this number at the beginning. So that's one of the conditions. 
and also you are not allowed to use spaces in between the variable names now for example let's say if i were to use underscore and leave a space and then if i say towns equals abc that also results in a syntax error because we have this space in between so when assigning variables we are not supposed to leave spaces in between in case if you would like to sort of be descriptive with your variable something like running distance now if i were to use the running distance with a space instead of using an underscore now you can imagine that it will be flagged as an error as a syntax error so one of the ways of actually getting around that would be to use an underscore you can have some sort of a distinction between the two different uh, two different names which can actually help out in properly describing what sort of a variable we are trying to assign over here so with that coming back to the fourth point if you would like to extend your variable name to make it more meaningful you can either use something like camel case where the starting letter of each word will be capitalized in the middle of the statement but leaving no spaces something like this now for example let's say if i want to create a variable called the distance from the station now one of the ways how you can do that would be you can say the let's say the distance from the station from station is 5 kilometers and if i hit enter you can see that we did not get any error or anything like that and this itself is actually quite descriptive now if you can distinguish between the different words like this because each word starts with a capital letter in in the middle or you can opt to use underscores as i explained to you guys before so that collectively as a name the variable name will not contain any spaces something like this equals 5 something like this now personally i prefer the second style because this style it does not appear to make the words sort of a uh, congested like the camel case all right so now let's talk about the fifth point now the fifth point is the variable names cannot contain mathematical symbols such as plus minus the division sign or the multiplication sign for example let's say if you were to assign a variable called distance divided by time now the distance divided by the time is the velocity so let's say if you are if you are planning to create a variable called velocity and rather than writing the velocity and rather than mentioning it to be velocity if you were to decide to write it distance divided by time and that's equal to let's say 5 km per hour and if i press enter you can see that it says that it's a syntax error can't assign to operator it's because of this division sign that we have over here so that's something to keep in mind now similarly the variable name also cannot contain brackets or parentheses now let's say if someone were to write a variable called distance and they decide to mention the fact that the distance is in kilometers so they put kilometers inside the brackets and then they say that the distance is 10 kilometers and as you can see it also resulted in an error because we cannot assign we cannot use these kind of uh, brackets when assigning a variable name All right so coming back to the seventh point you are allowed to use the same name with different cases and each name shall be considered as a different uh, python variable now for example i can use if i were to talk about this variable name called age i can write a variable called age that's equal to let's say 4 similarly i can write something like a capital g e that's equal to let's say 10 and a g capital e that's equal to let's say 20 and h everything simple let's say that's equal to 7 and everything in capital letters that might be equal to let's say 5 and the first two letters are capital and the third letter is a simple that can also be a unique variable in python and let's say we have the first letter in simple and the other two letters are capital say 27 and finally we have the starting letter in capital the middle letter in simple and the final letter in capital and this one can also be a distinctive a unique variable so even though when we spell it out all of these appear to be same in english language in python 
all of these are different because the variable names are case sensitive. Now this way you can get the idea that edge is not the same as edge. All right, so in addition to this, I'm also going to list down some Python keywords which are sort of built into Python for certain specific reasons. And because of that, you will not also not be able to use these keywords uh, as a Python variable either. Now over here I have displayed a few of those. So you guys can have a look and just make sure that when you're trying to create a variable name, uh, better not to use any of these names which I have displayed over here because they are sort of already built into Python for, for an exclusive task, which we might also encounter during our upcoming uh, tutorials. All right, now just before we wrap up this section, I would I want to introduce you to a bit of a different or, or something which might strike the amateur programmer to be something a bit strange uh, when assigning values to a variable. Yeah, if you can recall, in our very first example, we discussed an assignment of, a, of values to a variable called running distance. Now, in fact, the value which we assign to that variable is still retained in the memory. So when I type, let's say print, running distance, you can see that still the value is 9. Now let's say on the third day we manage to run 3 more kilometers. So in programming th the conventional way of updating a variable would be by saying equals running distance plus 3. Now when we do the assignment like this, just notice the structure. That it's the same variable name but on the, on the left hand side of the equal sign. What you see is actually the final updated variable. But on the right hand side, what you see is the current value of the running distance variable. Now if you can recall, the current value of the running distance variable was actually 9. So what running distance equals running distance plus 3 similar to is something like running distance equals 9 plus 3. And when we run this, and if I say print running distance, now we have the value of 12. Now it's much more efficient to actually keep on updating the variable in this manner rather than trying to remember what the previous value was. Because when we're trying to program, we're trying to make things as easy as possible for us. So even in future tutorials, you might find many occasions where we do update our variables in this manner. Now think the next day you ran, let's say for 10 kilometers. So the way to update this variable would be either you can say running distance is equal to 12 plus 10 but that's not what I'm going to do I'm just going to say that running distance equals running distance plus 10 and this will result in 22 so you can see that we don't actually have to go through the trouble of actually remembering the existing value of the particular variable in that case we can directly make the assignment without any trouble so these are a few things which I wanted to discuss uh, through this tutorial on Python variables and I'll see you in the next tutorial.